people fuck up like teenagers teenagers are stupid man and i'm fucking i fucked up being you know it was really irresponsible i shouldn't have trusted this girl i shouldn't have i i don't know why i did what i did she she convinced me that i could trust her and it was a mistake and that's something i will never make ever again but that's besides the point i just want to say thank you to all the people that support me i've recently talked to a ton of call of duty youtubers that are in my community they're really high up and they respect me they they understand my side and they truly believe i didn't do anything wrong oh kiwis you son of a bitch you got away with it for years Let's see what's going on. Oh, Kimstar actually released a uh, video. And it's hosted by Nicholas Diorio. Hmm. You know, I think I can do a documentary, but in a, in a specific timeline. Hmm. Hey guys, I'm the Velociraptor One, and today we're doing a documentary based on the guy called Kiwis or back in the days he's called Red Kiwis and I think the real reason why he's called Red Kiwis is because of the um, Call of Duty uh, team uh, Red Reserve which uh, yeah I guess they, everything has to be like red but then when he left it's basically Kiwis now today in this documentary I wanted to put a fair disclaimer a very very fair disclaimer that sometimes YouTube might um give it a or take it down or something because of their sensitive to topics but this needs to be talked about because for years he's gotten away with this and to be honest I didn't kind of want to do this uh, documentary until um Keemstar uh, uploaded uh, the Nicholas uh, Diorio uh, documentary about him so um, here we are doing this and now before we start the documentary I would like to say uh, can you uh, subscribe and like my video please sorry it's just uh, before we uh, start and yeah there's gonna be like youtubers that are gonna be mentioned there like Bastaverse so keep in mind that Bash Divorce will be in the uh, topic, even though it doesn't has nothing to do with him. But in later on, he's actually gonna he's actually an example in Keemstar's uh, video. So uh, keep that in mind. So all right, let's begin. Per month on your YouTube channel, you are lucky. You are earning money, and you are getting away with this. And getting away with this. So be irresponsible. I shouldn't have trusted this girl. I shouldn't have. I, I don't know why I did what I did. She she convinced me that I could trust her, and it, it was a mistake. And that's something I will never make ever again. Views as to how Kiwis was able to get away with this for four years. But Kiwis is the one that got away. John Pan, otherwise known as Kiwis, Back then, called Red Kiwis, is the professional name that we know from the drama. As many of you don't know him, he's a Fortnite YouTuber that had over 3 million subscribers. But back then, he used to be a Call of Duty player. But it wasn't always like this. How could this colossal giant get the so low when he was exposed and then got low again all because he got very bad on Twitter. The mystery is unknown. And this guy, in my opinion, is the most disgusting man in the world. He refused to take accountability. He used his audience for help and blames him. Um, 
let's assume that we know what he's accused of later on in this video, so um, let's get right into his beginning of his channel. Kiwi started at the new year in 2013. We are for a channel to start in a new year, but it is how it is. Rumors has it that he might start his channel in 2010, but if that's proven true, we it's probably forgotten, and probably this is the channel that we know of today. So, if you look at his mm, videos back then, it used to be called Era or Era um, Kiwis. I'm not joking. Look that up. So. He started off playing with a team called FaZe, which will be later on in this video. And throughout the years, he joined a group called the Soar. Call him the Soar Kiwis. And nothing much else besides that, because let's be real here, I didn't watch any of his content. But he did like an interview with, um,. Not a phase, uh, tensor, um, era tensor, the, the team that Kiwi joined in an interview, and Keemstar is in there, but Gentlemen, listening. It is Sor Kiwi, and I'm actually with Keemstar, he is the one conducting this interview, he will just be listening. But uh, right now, I'm actually going to interview era tensor and ask him frequently asked questions. These are asked a lot on in the comments, on Twitter, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy. Throughout the years, Kiwis have been growing ever since. In 2015, he joined the team that we that we know for for what's going to happen called the Red Reserve, professionally calling himself Red Kiwis. It wasn't at this point that things got a little turn in 2016, and yes, this is before the biggest event. It turns out that he had a team called the Felos. They were having an argument, and and this doesn't even make sense of the uh, of what happened. But it's obviously clear that they had an argument and they are separated. Just listen to the video of the fellas apparently there's drama with the fellas and it seems like the group is breaking up tensor can you explain what happened uh yeah so basically um kiwi started streaming and he wanted to stream some gbs uh with three of the fellas me crude and him and um i was acting a little sarcastic as i always do towards everybody and he couldn't handle it kicked me out of the party so it was pretty later and I knew I had to get a video ready, so I, instead of joining that game knowing we had a GB to play, um, since he kicked me, I decided, you know, I'd go and make my video and they'd have to play 2v3. And he got really angry at this, he ended up actually blocking me on everything he had um, in contact with me. So, and, Kiwi... Uh, he... So, what you're saying is that Kiwis actually blocked him, all because he couldn't handle the cars sarcasm and then when he made a video on him he just blocked him okay it doesn't make sense since it's gonna consider to be in the future and yes and this is when things I uh, get cracked for Kiwis or John I'm sorry I I know that he wants to be like prefer to be called Kiwis instead of his uh, real name but unfortunately I do not respect the guy after what he did. So in February in 2016, people are going to say it's actually in March, but hold on, hold on. There was a private message between Kiwis and, um, the, and Keemstar saying that the mother threatened to drop an exposed video on him for, um, let's just say, sending nudes to a minor. I'm not joking. But in the uh, Kiwi's documentary with Diorio, he claims that there was a video made by the mother exposing uh, Kiwi's. 
Unfortunately, he said that it was like long lost, so we couldn't be able to find the video. And the uh, theme in the video I found is uploaded to a. It's not from Keemstar. It's actually from another YouTuber that actually uploaded the fire story uh, version of of the interview. And yes, you heard me. A month later, after the the month after the mother exposed Kiwis and tried to like th like threaten him to to expose him, and and all the drama thing. That wasn't until a month later. What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Today on the show, we have an interview. Red Kiwi has been accused of sending nude pictures to a 14-year-old girl. On the line, we have Sword General, we have Red Kiwi, and we also have the mother of the alleged victim. Let's start with the mother of the alleged victim first. What exactly uh, do you know about this situation and what has happened so far? Okay, um, so far I know that she sent pictures to him. He sent pictures back to her. Um, he professed his love for her and said how beautiful she is and really I mean he's been dragging this on for probably about a year and um, she is only 14 years old and he's 19 now and Kiwi is this true um I yeah I just turned 19 um, I've known Jerrica uh, probably for about a year and a half Yes, a month later, Keemstar uploaded the wonderful but the horrible conversation interview of Kiwis. That it was not just only him, it was like Sword General and uh, Nuda. Apparently, um, the victim's someone in there, and the more important one, the victim's mother, like I said earlier. The victim mother is in the interview. According to her, I, I mean, let's just be real. It's, I am standing up for the victim. I may have some, like, theories about it. But, all I can say, that what Kiwi said is true. Yes, Keemstar can falsely accuse people about when people come, like, when fans come out about their favorite influencer. But... Key. But he's not. Kimsan was not lying about this because, like I said, Kiwis admitted it. Apparently, what happened is that the story behind it is that he was in a romantic relationship with a um with a fourteen year old girl who, at some point, a year and a half was twelve. Can you believe that? It's twelve. Now I understand some people said that um. It's okay because where where she could be from is legal. Well, you you guys have to remember that Kiwis is actually from Florida, and Florida at age of consent is eighteen. Now people aren't gonna say it to me because some people knew I'm from like a uh, New York saying uh, but New York is, in New York is seventeen. Yes, it is. Well, they can change it whatever they want, but yes, it is. But think about it. It's still illegal. I... Th to be honest, I think 18 is the cutoff for me. If I feel in a relationship, I go like... People who are like over 18, that's it. But unfortunately, Kiwis decided to like... Text this girl. And the only thing he said, this girl like lied about her. H. Like, really? Th th this only you had to defend yourself about? So apparently, the main story about this is that 
the Kiwis is actually on a, on a uh, romantic relationship with a 14-year-old girl who at some point was 12 a year and a half ago, and this was ongoing a month before the interview was released. Now, uh, people are going to say, where do you get the interview if the interview was lost? I'm for, like I said, a YouTuber actually uploaded this, the Storyfire version, so... I'm going to get credit as a YouTuber, but the original one is Keemstar. But, I'm actually going to say that... That, that I have to edit this, but... But this is the only one I can find, so... Let's continue what he had to say about this. Um, we met when I was 17. She was, she claimed she was 14, um, but I guess she lied, apparently. She must have been 13 at the time. Can you clarify? A year and a half ago, was she 13? Uh, well, a year and a half ago, she probably would have been 12, 12 and a half. It, she, was, she said she was 14 when I, when I talked to her. Okay. Um, you must be wrong then. Yeah, she's 14 now. No, yeah, I understand that. I'm I'm saying like when we first talked. I yeah. said I was 17 and she said she was 14. And it was nothing but friendly conversation for the first like 4 months. We were just kind of like, "Hey, what's up? How are you? What's good?" And she said that she watches my videos and I said that's awesome and I appreciate the support. And you know, that's awesome. So, um time went on and you know, she would message me a lot and I just wouldn't communicate with her as much. Um and one day she messaged me. She said she really wanted to talk. She said she was having issues and I, I felt bad because I always ignored her. So I said, hey, how are you? What's up? And we talked. She said she was having personal issues and we just talked for a while. And, you know, one thing led to another. She started complimenting me. I complimented her. Um, you know, it's it was, being a teenager, it's just... I was 17 at the time, and I understand she was 14 or 13, however old she was. Wait, but wait, there's, there's, if you were 17, wouldn't that make her 12? No. A year and a half ago, she would have been 12. Okay, well, I was just, I don't know, I was 17, and she said she was 14. Like, if you guys can look back in the kick messages, like, I hear you have police involved, like, you guys yeah. will be able yeah, what to it, see. What, let's get to that part. Um, in the video okay. that you uploaded today, uh, Mother of the Alleged Victim, you said that um, you've contacted the police. What, is there a police report? What, what's, what exactly is going on with this? There is. Um, we filed a report, and they're actually they're contacting Homeland Security to look into to see what they'd be able to charge him with. Because they're just a little bit uncertain. We come from a small town, and um, they're looking into it. Let's put it that way. That's what they said. And with it being Easter weekend, not a lot got done this weekend. So they told us we'd have to wait till next week. Now, Kiwi, this all sounds like really serious. Like, I'm sorry, guys. I have to cut this because I want to add up to something. If this police report was actually true, I'm sorry, I was listening to the interview and I should. All right, if this police report is actually really true, it doesn't like. I'm a little furious because, bro, they should have done something, and Kiwis admit said that. Jerrica actually said that she was like 14 when she was 12. Now, the, the theory I was going to tell you that um maybe she like lied about her age to the um account. I mean, let's face it. You had to be 13 to like uh enter these like um social medias. And that happens because when you have to be like over 13 to get those, you lied to the age. And probably this is what happens and and I thought Kiwis like knew like she was like twelve and now fourteen, but then used that excuse, lying excuse that. Let's. This is a theory. Don't uh, call me on this. But if that is true, that she lied about her age. It doesn't matter. Her true age and her lied age is still illegal. 
Yes, it keeps on making faces throughout the video because, let's face it, who does who, who doesn't like these kind of conversations? It was like, bro, the conversation is getting so bad. I know people are. I know they say, if you say the conversation, if you say this video is good, then why do you say the conversation is bad? I didn't like like. It was aged well, the video, but the conversation is still bad about each other. But then, this, um, it goes on when, um, he's started to, like, blame on her, which he claims he doesn't, but he did, anyways. And he uses the one predatory excuse, saying that he was in a depressed state. Look, I mean... Don't get me wrong, I, I mean, I don't want to say I uh, suffer from depressions, and, I mean, I, yeah, you remember my video called My Depression Story Sad. Well, taking my, for a depression, it can, like, be anything, like, there's many ty types of depression. I think the one I had is not so serious, but still you, like, feel wor worthless and all that. But guess what I never did? I never sexted a minor. That is not a good excuse. And that is actually disrespectful to, well, not, not only me, but to people who actually suffer from depression. You can't use that as a shield. But many predatory YouTubers do. Let's continue on. I'm getting mad about this interview. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? Like, I mean, are, um, are you I, sorry? I truly... Are you... No, uh, of, am I sorry? Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, of course I'm sorry. Like, obviously, like this, this is something. If Jerrica would have expressed that she was very uncomfortable, and she that I watched the video, you said that she didn't. She felt guilty. She felt like she didn't want to. She never like explained that to me, and I I would never like make somebody do something they didn't want to do. I even told her that. And, um, like, I, when the first time it happened, when we were getting a little bit more flirty with each other, whatever, um, she did send me pictures, but, um, she asked me to send her pictures, and I told her I felt really uncomfortable because, you know, of who I am and just everything. I, I felt really uncomfortable doing that, and she said that, I, that she could trust me, um, or I could trust her, and that nothing would happen. And um, I, I believed I could trust her. So it, it, it was a mistake. Being a teenager is kind of like a heat of the moment. I, everybody makes mistakes. And I, I do want to apologize to the mother, by the way, for the inconvenience and any harm that Jerrica has. Um, I know that I'm not the only one. Um, uh, there has been other people. Like, I have proof of other people. Jerrica still talks to them to this day. Wait, wait, wait. Um, and, are you and saying I'm that? Really, you... I'm just really okay. Why I'm I'm not trying to blame her at all. I'm just saying I'm no, really no, no, no. Why let I'm me the only one at all. No, I'm know? not saying like, that you're trying to blame her. But um, can we clarify this? You're saying that uh, other YouTubers, other people that are above the age of eighteen or eighteen or older, have been sending graphic pictures to Jerrica. Yes. Jerica. Okay, I don't know anything about that, and she admitted sending pictures to you, but there hasn't been anybody else. She said we can talk. We can talk more about it if you want. Like, well, I, and also I'd I'm like to talk about all the other girls that you're sending pictures to. Yeah, I mean it's not just yeah. We blue. have it's we have a <laughs> sore general here, and basically, um, I was brought to this was all brought to my attention um, through him and Nuda. Basically, they're friends with Jerrica, and Jerrica came to them looking for help, and they came to me looking for help. And this is after, you know, a police report. The police were already contacted. This is after all this. And okay. basically, <clears throat> General and Nuda have told me that there are a lot of other girls um, that are underage that you've kind of had these um, Snapchat sending nude pictures back and forth relationships with. Is that true? Are there any other girls? I, no, I cannot think of any girl online that I've met that oh. has. Okay. I haven't. 
Now, General, uh, General, what's what's your take on this? Because you're here. So Nuda came, to, you know, Nuda came to me obviously asking for advice because you know my family's been in law enforcement and whatnot before, and Nuda is the one that you know has you know told me about it. So I think he would be the best one to answer this. Okay, so I went to General. And I was like, okay, dude, you know, she came out to me. She told this to me. I don't know what to do. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't normally do stuff like this. <laughs> like, I don't normally, like, go to the police with stuff. You know, I just, you know, I leave stuff alone. But General told me to talk to the mom. And, you know, I talked to Jerrica's mom. And Jerrica's mom was adamant about going to the police. And I was like, okay, you know, that, you, you do that. And she, you know, has had a lack of experiencing with this, too. So she put me in a call with Jerrica. And she wanted me there for pretty much moral support because Jericho was, I mean, obviously terrified to talk to the police. Right, so. right. I understand all this, yeah. but are there other okay, girls? Yeah. Now, other girls, you know, when I was asking for advice because I asked General and I asked a few other people and I was like, okay, what do I do? You know, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, publicly go out and just, you know, et, like end Kiwi. You know, that's not my goal. You know, Kiwi and I friends for what, three years? I mean, it's not like I'm trying to like throw this dude in prison. Like, right, but are there other yeah, girls? Yeah, and other girls were saying now they could be doing this for attention or whatever, but they're yeah, saying who are yeah, they? Can you say who they are? Like I, I, I no, I mean that, that that's a that's a private, but I'm just like I don't want to say that to 1.3 million people. But what okay. I'm saying is, is other people have gone and said, okay, yeah, Kiwi sent me this or this. You know, I'm not gonna have them send me dick pics. You know, I don't swing that way. You know, I'm, I'm not trying. <laughs> I'm not trying to see your shit, dude. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm not throwing shots at you. I'm just saying, like, girls have said this. Now they could be doing it for attention. They could be doing it for what, whatever God knows reason. Because you have 170,000 subscribers. You know, I get that. But I'm just saying, other girls have said that you did. And okay. There, there, well, there I, been... I would like to know, like, who they are, like, in private. Who, like, I want to know who they are, because I genuinely don't. I can't think of any girls. Kiwi, I can't. Yeah, like you know the, how? Like the, yeah. The, huh? Kiwi, do you know how serious this is? Because, like, I, I. I mean, basically, she sent you child porn. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but I don't have any. Like, I never saved any of it. Like, I never. It's not on my phone. Like, and then you sent graphic, like pictures to a child. You know? Yes. Like, she she asked for them, and it was a one time thing. Being a horny teenager with hormones, like being stupid. Okay, you said it's a one time thing, Kiwi. How <laughs> long was this ago? Uh, probably. Like I was 17 when I sent two pictures over the app kick. That's that's what the app is, and I sent two pictures. And um, after that, we didn't really talk after that because I felt really bad. Um, because okay, so it, you it's sent, just, it was you just sent, weird. You sent pictures when you were 17 and she was 12. Now I believe she said that she you said she was 14. I believe and the kick logs will the kick logs will prove it. Like if you guys get it, like okay, it's there, but she like. said she was fourteen or whatever. But I bu but it she was, was a month ago. Yeah, and a month ago on Snapchat, yes. Okay, so a month ago you sent her a picture. Yes, but the problem with that is you're nineteen and she's fourteen at the time. But the th the thing like I was in a really like depressed state like. I she was talking to me like she kept on saying how she she like she was saying how she was so attached to me and I, I was saying and she said how she wanted to meet up and I said that's really weird I don't want to meet up like that's something you can't bank on like that's just really weird I, I don't want to do that and she's 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 claimed that she wants to meet up with other people there's there's another person in red that she talks to that she wanted to meet up with um, specifically and we can talk more about that in private um, she, she does talk to a lot more people than just me. And I want you guys to understand, like, this is a mistake. This isn't something that like, if anybody out there is thinking about sending pictures or whatever, don't do it. Like, it's not worth it. It's just pointless. It, it's, it's something, it may seem like an idea at the time. Like if you're feeling like it's not, it's not appropriate. You shouldn't do it. And I, I apologize to the mother. I apologize to Jerrica. So, in the interview, what happened is that <clears throat> Nuda actually um, texted Jerrica and said that she actually went, talked to him about like these relationships, and then when he told, when she, no, sorry, when she told him about Kiwis, about sending her these pictures, he was like frustratedly confused what to do. I mean, 
it's not his fault. He was doing the right thing. And then he went to, like, Sword General because, um, apparently, according to him, he said Sword General was actually, like, family is actually an attorney. Like, like, legalized, like, attorney. So, so what happened is that he went to the, like, the, um, he actually wanted to, like, talk to the mother about it, and that's when it started it, um, a month before the interview. So, Nuda and Sword General is not their, are not the bad guys, it's not their fault. The only real one that is, should be guilty, and that's his fault, is Kiwis. And now later on, the mother actually put a Jerrica in, in the uh, interview. And she attacked him about the mental health thing. And Kiwis, or I don't think you should like educate your Keemstar's uh, viewers about this. Like, educate them about being a stupid teenager and all that. Like, bro, you admitted this. Like, you fucking admitted this. Just don't be a lying piece of shit. Um, I own up to my mistakes, and it's it's not my my actions were childish. I've seen so many people on Twitter get exposed like for making the same mistake. Like I've seen girls, I've seen guys, and it's 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 some it's so stupid. So if you're if you guys are thinking about doing that, just don't do it, please. Like save yourself that the hassle. Like it's it's so okay. pointless. Yep. All right. Um, excuse me. This is the mom. Um, can Jerrica speak now? Yeah, of course. Because she has something she needs to say. That's fine. So you're talking about being depressed, right? Mm-hmm. Well. So I had something going on in my life around the time that that happened. I did too, and I, and me being upset, and I told you about some things about me being possibly bipolar. You just like gaining that from like something that I said earlier, or, or are you really depressed? No, like, I, I'm not depressed now, but I had something going on in my life at the time that was really, it was really hard on me, and I just needed to talk to somebody, I don't know, it it was just being stupid, but, um, yeah, no, you did have a lot of personal issues, and I always talked to you about them, and you were, you were happy to talk to me about them, and that's really all it was supposed to be about, and then one thing led to another, both of us being teenagers and being stupid, it's, it's, it's really dumb. And it's it's not like I'm friggin' thirty talking to like ten year old like dude like these people like line maker going out there like doing some crazy stuff like the, I I I would not call myself a pedophile I would not call myself like a sex offender or anything like this is Jerrica yeah but she Kiwi, would, I don't know if you know how serious this is like you literally could have to like if if it goes through the legal course and they find you guilty I mean. I'm just guessing, based on everything that I'm hearing here, you could be registered as a sex offender. I understand, but I, like, like I said, it's just being stupid, being a teenager. It's being dumb. Like I said, if there's anybody out there thinking about doing this, or just you're in a relationship with somebody, and you're 18 and she's 15 or whatever, just it's not worth it, dude. Okay, just wait. Jerrica, did you have anything else that you want to say? Yes, um, I'm. I would actually. Um, you keep saying, well, at least I'm not like a lion maker when I'm 30 and the other person's 10. Well, that's still a problem because you're 18 and I'm a minor, so don't act but you, like... He's 19. Jerrica, come, Jerrica, you constantly would tell me that age is not an issue. I would tell you age is kind of weird. Like, it's kind of weird. And you I know, would but, say, one, but the, pr the problem is, Kiwi, is like one person's an adult and they have to know better. And, and it doesn't matter what the kid says. That's I know. I, under I understand that. You could me like if I was being an issue. And I also just, with the pictures, you had to have known she was younger. I'm sorry. No. I mean, when this started a year and a half ago. I truly believe she was 15. Like, she looks 15 to me. So... Apparently, Jerrica, I'm gonna give Jer Jerrica the credits for being brave enough to like uh, attack Kiwis off after what he said. That's very brave of her. But it goes on that Keemstar actually like reminded Kiwis that he could be in a registry sex offender, 
And then he got... And as far as it goes on, when Kiwis ended up saying that she lied about her age, and that triggers Jerica to be so defensive. But later on in the video, he made a... He made this, like... Didn't take this, uh, like, thing seriously ending. You watch, You can watch it at the end. I'm gonna roll the uh, remaining clip here. But I mean, if she's sending you uh, graphic pictures when she's 12, I mean, you should be able to figure out. There's that, no way. Yeah. Yeah. That she's not. She was. She wasn't. Tw she wasn't 12. She was 13. She said she was 14. She lied. I Jerica. did not lie, you idiot. Jerica, you did. Jonathan, I didn't. Jerica, I swear to God, you did. You lied. You know you did. All I right. know I didn't. You're just trying to defend yourself in the most stupid way possible. I swear to God. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Where to go? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave it here. Uh, I think we got uh, most of the facts out on the case. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, slap a like on it. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on this situation. Drum Alert Nation, now over 1 million... 220,000 subscribers. It is fucking lit. What oh the my God. What just happened? What I is this? I have no idea. Kiwi, this is bad. This is really bad, Dude. Kiwi. Okay. After listening to this, do you see how ridiculous this is? He didn't, at the end, he didn't take things so seriously. He was like so concerned about the fact that it was exposed. And then he was arguing with Jerrica, saying that he, she lied about her age. Like I said, she probably like lied to the account and then told Kiwis about her, her real age. And then, and then Kiwis used that excuse to do that. Like, and rather if she lied about her age or not, that's still illegal. Yeah, she just uh. Kiwis didn't take things very seriously after the interview. I had a feeling that this guy is more concerned about the fact that he was exposed and his actions. I mean, it's not kind of not my word. It was like Jaden's word, the one who exposed him like uh, 10 months ago. But still, I agree with Jaden. Still, he doesn't like was concerned about his action. He was concerned about the fact that he was exposed. And I'm gonna, okay, for the interview, I'm gonna shout out to, uh, uh, Quirrell. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your, uh, channel name, but I'm gonna get credits to you for, uh, uploading this, uh, interview, so I can, it was easier for me to find it instead of looking for it. So, thank you. Now it goes on, like, I, to be honest, in 2016, I wasn't falling up with these, because I was like, um, what was I? Was I... I think I was like, um... F no. No, in 2016, in October, I became 13. I was 12. I was 12 when I, at the time, and I, didn't under, and I didn't look at it, and I wouldn't be understanding that. But... Maybe, like, a day or... Hours later, he uploaded a thing called My Story. Which... It's super manipulative because he um, uses victim blaming, victim cards, using his audience for support. And yes, the one when I didn't make sense about the tensor, that he actually thanked tensor for what happened for that. Like, bro, are you trying to like run away from the consequences, uh, Kiwis? Because if you are, you are a dumbass. But then, and then, yeah, people are missing this, that later on in the day, Nuda actually responded, but we'll get to that later. But let's look at his uh, apology. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Red Kiwis, and I'm here making a response video to the new drama alert that recently went up. Um, and before I go any further, I just want to say thank you to all the people that understand my side and understand that these things happen. Like... People fuck up like teenagers 
teenagers are stupid, man. And I'm fucking, I fucked up being, you know, it was really irresponsible. I shouldn't have trusted this girl. I shouldn't have. I, I don't know why I did what I did. She, she convinced me that I could trust her and it was a mistake. And that's something I will never make ever again. But that's besides the point. I just want to say thank you to all the people that support me. I've recently talked to a ton of Call of Duty YouTubers that are in my community. They're really high up and they respect me. They, they understand my side and they truly believe I didn't do anything wrong. And I'm so thankful that people are actually understanding this and they're not being so close minded into automatically thinking that I'm some kind of fucking pedophile because this girl lied about her age and convinced me to send her pictures of myself. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is a tiger called victim blaming. In the beginning of the video, he said he shouldn't trust this girl. He shouldn't have. Like, come on. You are the one that started this. If she really, st if she really started this, it'll be your responsibility, not hers. Because she is a minor and you're an adult. I'm pretty sure she's an adult by now, but this is your own fault, Kiwi. You don't have to do that. But you did it. Unfortunately, uh, so Kiwis like thanks everyone for like um supporting him, talking to the Call of Duty guys, and they're high up, understanding his side. Like, bro, seriously, this this guy needs to be locked up, like fucking locked up. Like she sent pictures to me too, but it was it was a group effort. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't just like there was no harassment. There it was all consent, and I know that she's younger oh, and yeah. it, Sorry, it's. Buddy, you but you're a teenager, but, um, dude. Like so many people in high school make this mistake, and I, I see so many people on Twitter get exposed up. for this, and it it's even my boy consent, Tensor got exposed Florida, for this for making this same mistake. And honestly, up. I don't know why I did it. It was stupid, and I, I don't know. Look, I, I'm going to have to cut this, but, uh, look, he is not sorry at all. He's just concerned about him being exposed and with his actions. It doesn't make sense because you said that you admitted it to Kingstar, that you did it, and then you blamed on her, saying it was a consensual. Like, bro, just shut up. I'm ready to shut up. And then, then you have the audacity to like villainize a nuda after what happened. Like, bro, just listen what he's had to say about nuda. About nuda that I want to talk about. And a lot of you are like wondering why nuda would do this, why he would get this girl to go on drama alert. Like, it, honestly, I don't know why he would do this. I don't know. I just gotta say, ever since I left the fellows, Nuda has just not liked me. I've, I'm friends with Tensor right now, I'm okay with Crude, but Nuda, we just haven't spoken in a long time. People would always tell me what Nuda would say behind the scenes. He, he would always get mad that I'm doing somewhat well on YouTube. He would, he would make fun of me for possibly getting into phase. Uh, he was really upset about the Red House. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And Nuda, if you're watching this, dude, I don't know why we just can't be friends. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know why you hate me. I, I literally have never done anything to you. And yet you continue to fucking beat me down like this. Like, what the fuck is this, dude? Like, what is going on, dude? I called you my friend, bro. <sighs> Bottom line is, Nuda, I just, I want to talk to you in private. I want to know what's going on. I... You don't even have to be friends with me, dude. I just I want this to end. I want you to st just leave me alone, dude. That's all. I don't fucking care. Just stop fucking with me. It's so annoying. I John, Nuda wouldn't. Okay, first of all, if Nuda would, he would be happy that you will have like be better and join the phase and all that he would have 
But the real reason why he turned against you is because you sent nudes. That is exactly why he was against you. Look, he would have been happy for you if you haven't done that. Like, no, just... Just don't, like, uh... Like, villainize your friend just because he was just doing the right thing. Ba so basically, what I'm understanding is, uh, John, um... You're basically mad at Nuda, because when he, oh, sorry, my bad, when Jerrica told Nuda that you were messaging her, and have, and probably saw the picture, she probably might tell you about the pictures, or tell, sorry, tell him about the pictures, and then probably he has got a little nervous. He was doing the right thing. You, on the other hand, are doing are in the wrong. Like seriously, seriously, just <sighs> Nuda. If you're watching this, um, I want to tell you that this is not your fault. You did the right thing. It's just Kiwis is the one that is his fault. Oh, Anyways, other than that about the whole nudes thing, it's a, it was a mistake. And I owned up to it, and it's up to you guys to think it's worth forgiving. I, I don't know. I never harassed this girl. I never did any of that. There was no harassment. And I just wanna say thank you to everyone supporting me. I don't know what I'm gonna do on YouTube. I don't know if I'm gonna take like a couple days break. I, I don't know, I'm under a lot of stress right now. And to the mother, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, I already apologized, but I, I am. I just want to say thank you to everybody that sees my side and kind of understands where I'm coming from. This is something I will never do again. I don't know what's going to make of it. I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of hate. You know what? We'll just have to wait and see. Um, thank you guys. And I want to thank all the YouTubers behind the scenes. You know who you are for being there and supporting me and just, just talking to me these past, this past day, dude. Like, I don't know what I would do without just having someone to talk to. Like, I don't know. I know that sounds depressing as shit, but bro, I, I really feel that way. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I might post a follow-up video. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't know if I missed some things in this video. I don't know what I missed. Anyways, I, I also, I, I think I might be going on Scarce's channel. I don't, I don't know. Thank you guys so much. Um, this is the video, so I'm out, bitch. So basically the whole story is about him getting scared over the over him getting exposed and with his actions. And I may be wrong, but according to uh Ar Augie, he said that um apparently they made a deal with the mother saying that he'll pay her money. Mm, yeah, maybe like like mm, okay, I'm sorry I'm a little star because we don't know what's about, like, we probably think that she, he probably gave her money in order not to, like, file the police report, in order to, like, um, to go on. But, dude, and you, you shouldn't do that in the first place, after all. You attacked the victim, blamed on her, you villainized your friend, which he did not betray you, you betray him for for sending inappropriate pictures, and you claim that the people are like supporting you and all that, and that's the thing. You never held accountable because of your support. Now, if I if I missed the tensor part, uh, forgive me. I might not, but um, apparently, according to tensor, yeah, he said. I mean, first of all, uh, Kiwis actually um stated that tensor did the same mistake, which could not be, which we haven't heard from uh, tensor himself, but tensor responded that. 
that's not what exactly happened. He said that when he was 16, he got catfished by an 18-year-old and sent pictures. And to be honest, if that's really true, that would make him the victim, not Kiwis. Hey, though, um, so... We were missing something that Nuda actually responded to this uh, video. Unfortunately, it's not like those like cam things or gameplays uh, background thing. It was just a uh, a blank video with a voiceover. And this is what he has to say. Oh wait, there there has the uh, titles there. Never mind. No disrespect though, but li just listen what he had to say. Uh. Hi, I'm Nuda. Um, I know a lot of you don't like me right now, and that's fair to say because of recent events, you know, what's gone on, and all I want to do is explain myself. I don't have a side in this, and dude, I, Kiwi, I don't hate you, and I'm not trying to bully you or belittle you, dude. Like, I don't have a side in this. Jerrica, uh, and I'm, I'm going to get right into this. I'm not going to cut this or make this one of my normal videos, dude. Um, Jerrica came to me with relationship troubles and was like, hey, you know, like, she was having a bad day, DM me about it. Like, 15 minutes into the conversation, she just starts, like, laughing. You know, that's what, that's what I'm here for, to just be a dumbass, make people laugh, not anything like this. And so, about a half an hour into it, she's like, well, I fell in love with this guy online, and, you know, I really think I love him. And, you know, I was like, yeah, who isn't? She was, well, you're really good friends with him. And... I was like, okay, so who is this? You know, I'm tr I'm still trying to figure out what's going on, and she finally says, well, it's Kiwi, and I was like, oh, well, I mean, damn, you know, I don't want to be in the situation, because I mean, she's 14 years old, and I mean, Kiwi's, I mean, if not 19 right now, turning 19, and I was like, fuck, dude, like I I have no idea what to do, so I wait two weeks, and people have my account. Like, you know, I, I share account with a few of my friends, and they're like, dude, you have to do something, you know, like, stuff like this isn't okay. And, you know, Jerrica's trying to talk to me, saying, you know, I don't know what to do about this, you know, I really think I love him, and I'm gonna stand still, and I have no idea what to do, and I go to general, and I was like, dude, this is my problem, and I seriously have no idea what to do, like, this... I, like, I, I don't want to be in this position. This is something that I never imagined would happen. And General was like, okay, what you can do is you can talk to her mom. And I was like, okay, so that's what I'll do. I talked to Jerrica and her mom, and her mom, like, had no idea about any of this. And she was like, well, hey, can you, like, be there for Jerrica, like, for moral support? Because Jerrica was terrified to talk to the police. So, I'm sitting there. I didn't say a word to these guys. Like, I didn't say a word the entire call other than hi. And Jerrica talked to them, and finally, you know, after three, four days, no word from the police. And they were like, okay, we need to do something else. So, I went, and I was like, General, dude, again, you know, I have no idea what to do. I don't want to be in this situation. I don't have a side, dude. I don't hate anyone. Like, this all came on me, and I have no idea why. Because... I, I, I was just the wrong person at the wrong time, and, like, th this is all going back on me, and, like, I, I feel bad because Kiwi and all these other people think I hate him, and you guys think I'm a backstabber. I'm not. This is not what I intended to do. Like, this, honest to God, is not what I'm ever meant to happen, and General goes, well, hey, talk to Keemstar, you know, he has an idea as to what's going on, you know, he's dealt with this before, and I was like, okay, like, I'm just taking advice from my friends and people around me that I trust, so I go to Keemstar, and Keemstar's like, okay, well, let me talk to the girl, and as far as I knew from other friends, you know, other girls are saying, hey, you know, like, Kiwi sent this with me or did this, we did stuff back and forth, and that, like, that's all there was to my knowledge. So basically what he's talking about is that the Jerrica texted Nuda and actually um, saying that she kind of fell off with Kiwis and then she yeah, he said that he didn't like tell him what his name is and then found out it was Kiwis, got nervous, got the sort general or general, talked to the mom and the mom had no idea that he said. Which is 
kind of fair, depending that the child might not tell the mother because of what happened. And, and basically, Nura is all nervous in this video. Nura, man, no, no, don't worry, I'm not going after you badly, I'm just gonna tell you something calmly, like, man, it's okay. You did the right thing, like I said earlier. You did the right thing. The only one who should be in the wrong is Kiwis. Just... It's okay that we can get nervous about all these, worrying about a person and all that. But just... Just, I, we understand that you're, that you're not like a backstabber or anything. And you don't want like any size of that. That, that happens to people. That find out about these these types of like uh, things. So uh, let's continue what he had to say. And like with people tweeting out Jerica's nudes right now, and with her in my DM saying I'm gonna commit suicide, saying that she is depressed to the point where she wants to end her life, and I don't blame her. And I, I don't want to get emotional, but sh there's a 14-year-old girl in my direct messages right now who is bullied to the point where she's going to end her fucking life. She is inches or what not, not in she's, she is close to the point where she wants to end her life because of the harassment she's getting online. And you can't say just turn off a computer or something like that. This is life ruining. What if a former employer or a future employer gets online and looks up Jerrica's name and there's her nudes? Is she going to get that job now? You guys don't understand the impact that this has on people. And I'm not sitting here trying to say that, you know, I, I'm the victim. That I, I, I didn't have a part in this. And you guys are saying that I'm throwing Kiwi under the bus. Dude, I didn't have a part in this. I legit had nothing to do with this, and I was just the wrong person at the wrong time. I don't have beef with Kiwi. Dude, Kiwi and I could, be, like, we, we haven't talked in however long, dude, ever since the fellas broke up. Dude, I don't hate him. I don't hate anyone. And this all just fell back on me because I tried to do the right thing for the for this girl and this family because they, they didn't know who to go to, and they went to me, and I went to my friends, and this is the only advice that I got. I'm... I'm sorry that I have to upload a video like this, and I know that this isn't my normal type of upload. Usually, it's it's something stupid. I, I I don't know what to do at this point. I'm really at a standstill again. Like I have no idea what to do. And there's all these people tweeting at me saying you need to fucking kill yourself. You threw your friend under the bus. You know he's a pedophile or whatever, dude. I had nothing to do with this. I don't have a side. I don't have an argument. This is between Kiwi and that family. I didn't go through and force this. I didn't press this. They wanted to go to the police. They wanted like they. I I I don't have a side. And that's all that I want to get through to you guys. I didn't throw him under the bus. All I did was go to who I thought would give me the correct information. And apparently it just spiraled into this. And I, I don't want a little girl's death on my hands. Because I am 18 years old and I, I don't want to have that hanging over me for the rest of my life. So, for those of you who have just stayed to hear me out, I'm sorry for those of you that hate me. For those of you that were fans and just fucking despise me now, I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. But, for those of you who are here now, and for the rest of you, just I hope you can forgive me. Because th this is my job, this is my livelihood, and I'm sorry. You know, I'm not saying this in terms, you know, I want your money or whatever. I, I... <sighs> You guys are the people I talk to every day, and I just want to say that I'm sorry. And to Kiwi, I didn't mean for this to happen, dude. I'm sorry. That's the end of the video, so... Take it how you want to. That's all from me. Nuda. Nuda. Man. No. Bro, it's okay. I understand that that this how that you're trying to like fix the like trying to like tell the the family about what happened. Bro, like it's okay. And if you expect us to like forgive you, I mean, I mean, I don't want to put this in a in a uh, bad way, but uh. 
I never knew the situation for a l but I'm gonna be fair with you. I never knew about the situation for a long time, so I wouldn't kind of be able to forgive you, but I will be but I'm gonna say and I'm proud of you that you try to to stop this. And the uh, point is you said the girl's gonna like take her own life? I never knew about that. I I, I thought that Yes, that it can have a lot of impact, but I I never thought this that it's gonna like he felt bad oh for that. But yes, it's not a fun thing to think about it. Don't get me wrong, I actually felt suicidal before. Like it will be a surprise that. And, and, to be fair, during, uh, spring, during spring break, I actually felt it. But, the thing is that, it's just a normal thing, but this, what Jerrica had, is a very serious tactic that the end, that can impact a child's life through the internet. Bro. It's not your fault, Nuda. Like I said, the only one who has the fault is Kiwis. Even though he didn't do not, even though you didn't do nothing to him, I want to ask the question to you all of you. What did Kiwis do to push like both Jerrica and Nuda to to the sanity or lose their sanity for that? Like mm, like Jerrica probably might have PTSDs for from that, and you are, and Nuda is gonna face the fact that that he had a fourteen year old DM'd him saying about these things. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, John? Anyways, um, he got this like so badly that. But he has the audacity to say a thank you. Forward to me these past couple of days with stories with the girl and about, you know, what happened with them and how I'm not, I don't really want to bring this back up at how she lied about her age. A lot of people have came forward and, you know, the whole thing is resolved now. It's over. The girl's getting the help she needs. And I especially want to thank all of the really big YouTubers out there that supported me and gave me advice. Um, there were so many of you. I was literally shocked at how many of you guys reached out to me, like the really big YouTubers, like the fucking, the big kahunas. And you guys came out to me and you supported me and you were like, listen, dude, it's all good. We understand. And you know, it means so much to me. Like, honestly, you guys do not understand. I've been going through a fuck ton just in my head. I have been going insane. I'm assuming things are going well for the boys. However, in um, I don't remember what exactly day that um, apparently Keemstar announced that there was a uh, person coming to his house recording himself, uh, asking these uh, questions. Let's roll it. And of course, after these allegations. And the video, he came through YouTube like nothing ever happened. And and then five years ago, I I'm not gonna play this. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, sorry, that was a. Uh, Alright, so he he announced that he will be um, moving into the Red House and meaning of the Red Reserve. So yeah, he he didn't can continue videos doing Call of Duty things like nothing ever happened and doing uh normal videos. And doing some rap songs. I don't 
remember what exactly day, is that, um, apparently Keemstar announced that there was a, uh, person coming to his house recording himself, uh, asking these, uh, questions. Let's roll it. <laughs> red formula. Yeah, the leader up, of the red reserve. So, man. How's it going? <laughs> what's good, man? How you doing, man? What's good? Uh, you a fan? Yeah, I'm a fan of the red reserve. <laughs> is Kiwis around? Yeah, he is. Uh, uh, do you wanna... think I could talk to him? Yeah, sure. Uh, you wanna, you wanna come on in for a bit? Yeah, sure. What? Red Kiwi, oh, hey, DJ Titty Mac. Yeah, in what's real up? Life, the man with the big shorts. <laughs> yeah, what's up, dude? Um, I wanted to ask you a question. Okay. Why did you rape that girl? Oh, uh, you think you're funny? <laughs> yes. Right. That is not funny at all, dude. All right, you gotta leave me. <laughs> you wanna leave, bud? You gotta get out of the house. What, what, why did you do it? You gotta get out of the house. Why did I do you even know what, the story? What? Come on, yeah, get yeah, out. Yeah, I know the whole story. Get out, get out of the fucking why house. Did you do it? What's why the did you do it? You sent your dick. Online get to a girl hey, that, was him. Four, him. that was Keep 14 years old. That You're was 14 years old. Do you realize that? Do you, do you not understand hey, that she out. completely lied about her age? Get out of the house. It's proven. Get out of the fucking house. That's why I'm here. <laughs> now, to be fair, I don't endorse anyone to like harass him. Buddy, that's because he deserved to be cancelled. Doesn't mean you have to like go to his house and record him. It's not right. But then, of course, in 2018, he left uh, Red Reserve and signed a contract with Obey and it was picked up by like Lunacity Gaming. They picked up a few sponsors. Now I know I got like Made these like videos based on that, but unfortunately, I may be running out of space and I don't have like time for it. Get sorry how this document has to big how doc big this document has to be. But then in 2020, it was heard that Kiwis took advice from Keemstar to make his own team one percent. Apparently that he, that he is like, living in this, I'm, sorry I lost some words, but the thing is I'm not going to lie that this is actually a really cool mansion to live, but without him, of course. And of course, you know, 2020 is a day. Is the years of the pedophilia exposed, like Zoe Laverne, Tony Lopez, Mini Lad, and I forget a list of two things, but yeah, they were exposed. But the thing is that on December third, or I'm actually going to pull up his uh, Twitter as soon as we get to it. So, um, here we go. So, basically, what this is that I'm on his Twitter. And I'm scrolling down, scrolling to the day, December 2nd. Yeah, this is where we're going to get to it, but. Uh, let's leave it in post as much whoops sorry where where is it huh okay there we go I was gonna say that he cut I thought he deleted it or not says I just woke up and got verified. Hello? And of course, we have like these videos like uh, reminding what happened. And that wouldn't be until a... Okay. Stop right there. Alright. So that wouldn't be until a username Goblin struck. 
And of course, there's other YouTubers like uh, Ar Agia RC, Nicholas Diorio, and Turkey Tom. Alright, so. Get this. So, um, he said. So, Governor Struck said this. Twitter just verified Kiwis. A known and admitted pedophile. Kiwis got nudes from a 12 year old girl and then blamed her for it. Kiwis should not have access to millions of children. And of course, without the reminder of this, which I'm going to like mute myself in a second, he uploaded this. He professed his love for her and said how beautiful she is. Um, I've known Jerrica uh, probably for about a year and a half. A year and a half ago, she would have been 12. She sent pictures to him. He sent pictures back to her. Okay, so a month ago, you sent her a picture. Yes. But the problem with that is you're 19 and she's 14 at the time. But the, th the thing, like, I was in a really, like, depressed state, like. She was... She wasn't, tw she wasn't 12, she was 13. She said she was 14, she lied. You could be registered as a sex offender. I understand, but I, like, like I said, it's just being stupid, being a teenager. It's and understand that these things happen. There was no harassment. There, it was all consent. Like she sent pictures to me too, but it was it was a group effort. Um, he professed his love for her and said how beautiful she is. And so, also, I'd I'm like to talk energy. about all the other girls that you're sending pictures to. And, you know, one thing led to another. She started complimenting me. I complimented her. Kiwi, is this and true? Um, I, yeah, I just turned 19. Ooh, sorry, I have to cut it out because uh, somebody was uh, saying the N-word. Um, so, this gets attention, a lot of attention. And Keemstar himself actually talked about this, saying, When I first covered this story in 2016, no one cared. All of a sudden, I seen everyone bringing it up again. Which I'm going to pull up a clip from a blowbox for him saying that phrase. Keemstar reposts this video on Twitter and captions it by saying, When I first covered this story in 2016, no one cared. All of a sudden, I see people bringing it back up again. I am pursuit response to Keem by saying, This guy's sponsored by G Fuel, but you are not? Uh, Keemstar responds laughing my fucking ass off, yeah. G Fuel really thought I was finished when Ethan tried to pin me for murder. I have no idea why anyone bets against me. I'm always gonna win. I am pursuit responds. Interesting how companies pick and choose what to sweep under the rug. Keemstar responds. It was a bad bet to make. Ethan is covering him with circuses being closed all around the world. With that girl who cries on her bedroom floor. Hold on, I'm gonna have to skip purpose. this. By saying, my question is, why did you let Kiwi play in Friday Fortnite when you knew this situation happened? And said nothing about it. Keemstar responds, when Kiwi reached out to me to play in Friday Fortnite, I didn't realize at the time it was the same person. He used to be called Red Kiwis, had 150k subs, and his new Fortnite Kiwi had different profile pic, and like million subs. Did not put two and two together till it was too late. And I am not the only one that was confused. If you look at the comments of the video I put out today, or the tweet responses, there are many other people there- Yeah. People are not confused because of the, um... Eventually because of the name. Eventually because he used to be called Red Kiwis. And of course, it goes on and on, where um, Keemstar uh, posted these uh, memes, where we're going to play uh, now. 
situation. This first one is a fake video from Kiwis with the title, They found out I'm a pedophile. This next one says, Meet my girlfriend. This one shows the age of consent in the Philippines being 12 years old, and then Kiwis on a plane to the Philippines. Wow. After the situation started Damn. to get a lot of- Alright. And yes, because of this, it got attention from Keemstar. And of course, I'm about to show you one of the clips from AugieRC. And yeah, I'm actually going to show you this clip. I'm actually going to kind of skip a few, but uh, this is what I want to show you. Before you've even gone to the meat and potatoes of tonight's show. A lot of yeah. people talked about what he had done. Um, and, you know, he went on drama alert. He admitted to what had happened. He tried to skirt around it a little bit, but it was, it was pretty much proved exactly what went down. And, you know, YouTube didn't delete him or anything. So what's he do? Instead of quitting, he just keeps posting videos. So, I mean, yeah, you know, and this if, if you do want to, I don't want to give soon. this guy any credit, but like, if you do want to give him some ounce of credit, like, you know, he literally got exposed. All right. So, um, so yeah, this got a lot of attention. And I'm actually going to read to you guys about that statement that he now deleted, the manipulate stated that he now been deleted. So I have to repeat that, but I want to like add that word because he wants to like manipulate his fans just to like let, tell them that it was years ago or oh, something. Still doesn't matter, anyways. Okay, let let's just see what he had to say. All right, then I have his uh, now deleted statement. I might not be good at reading, so um, forgive me about this. So this is what he had to say. Hey guys. So I just wanted to make a tweet to address what's going on. The situation I was a part of nearly five years ago. Now it's five years ago. The, back then it was four years ago. Nearly five years ago has been brought up again, which I had to publicly address and take responsibility during that time. Yeah, you don't even need to take responsibility. I was complaining to you about that in the beginning. Like, okay, okay. the videos about that situation are public and has been for years, or have been for years. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted, I want you all to understand that this situation had been resolved and amends that were made on both parties and has been since the situation transpired. Transpired. I will not try to justify, validate, or invalidate anything from the situation. I do, however, want to genuinely and deeply apologize once again for what transpired. I was sorry then, and I'm still sorry now. I had to rebuild and had to learn from my mistakes and face many consequences. The situation had caused me to mature, and there are so much over the years, and I have believe I have become a much better person since then. I ha have done everything in my being to become better and move on. Yeah, it didn't cause you to mature enough. Sorry, buddy, to say that. I shouldn't just call you buddy. What the fuck am I saying? I have developed a life for myself where I very happy and grateful for the people around me without the support of my loving girlfriend, my parents, and my friends. I don't know if I have been willing to do this. And of course, once again, he brought up the victim card. I also wanted to address something else that has weighed over me. Over the years, there has been a group in the Cod Trick Shot community that I grew up with that continue to harass me and my family. They dox my number, my friend's number, and have sent death threats to my girlfriend and family. Not only that, but they have went on to fabricate false stories about girls being raped. There were multiple girls involved or claiming there was physical contact. This has become this is because it has become a mean among them to try and see how far they can take it. Four years ago, I had someone from the, this group came to my house 
and record himself harassing me in my own home. And this was the video that I show you guys. Every time they get a reaction out of someone, they think it's hilarious and stop at nothing to threaten me or my family. This is how this situation has been risen again. This is not to discredit anyone who is generally concerned about the situation, but to only address a specific group of trolls who I know only do this for impression and power because they believe I'll stay silent in the matter. And first of all, like I said, there were no trolls. It's just Augie RC, Nicholas Diorio, and Turkey Tom were doing this. Like doing a uh, joke on a stream. Or joking about the stream and for that fact. Sorry about the burst pronunciation. Or miss uh, saying or something, whatever you call this. But when they noticed Kiwis got verified on Twitter, they made tweets about it. And of course, this. And this is when he is say this. Lastly, I'm probably gonna take. I'm probably going to take a break, take a few days of from the internet. This is because I have developed PTSD from the harassment and threats in this situation years ago. Being online right now probably isn't the best for my to do for my health. Thank you to all who have privately messaged me, reached out to me. Or checked up on me. I'll never forget that. I will still continue to be the better person I have become over the years. It will continue to do what I love. You do not have to like me or support me. If you feel I have disappointed you from the situation, then I, I am still very sorry. I hope to uncover that it was knowing nearly five years ago, four years ago. When it was first made public and there has been no issue since, I wake up every day <laughs> and make sure I never make this mistake again. <laughs> Bro, like, like, you're, you just like, don't message minors, don't message minors. Exactly that, huh? Huh? I'll continue to become, to our movie and become a better person. Kiwis. Bro. This is a mess. He used these things as a shield to defend what happened four, uh, five years ago. Now, what well, he said nearly five years ago. Now is five years ago, but back then it was four years ago. Ugh. I mean, this guy is trying to like, ma like I said, try to manipulate his uh, fans. Saying he has PTSDs, like, bro, the 12 of y'all should have the P PTSD. I don't know how old she is now, but, but not you, because you are just a manipulator, man. And of course, we head off to the, uh, to the amazing, um, repos a couple days later after the, the rampage of the, um, people. And of course, uh, I'm gonna read it off to you the uh, the statement that he had n now that it wasn't deleted on um, onward. Um. So here we go, the amazing uh, Storyfire version of um this uh, the interview, and there was an like, extended long intro, and yes, this is when Bash the first came in. So it turns out. That when he was exposing these uh, predators, Keemstar actually received these so much hate, saying death threats, and the worst one he actually got is with Kiwis. So let's uh, see what he had to say in his long intro. Gentlemen, my name is Keemstar. I am the host of Drama Alert. And over the years, many years, we have covered stories about online influencers being predators preying on their underage fans. In 2015, I covered a story about Basherverse. And when I covered this story, showing that he was arrested for actually, you know, grooming an underage person back in the day, I received so much hate. In fact, my show throughout the years trying to expose these predators received so much hate. Me personally getting death threats. At the time of covering this Basher story, People on the internet were saying, Basher 
did nothing wrong. Even though there was a mugshot, even though he was arrested for it, even though more girls came forward with their stories that he was pursuing them while they were underage, it didn't matter. That was the culture of the internet back then. Seven months ago, the YouTuber Gamer from Mars uploaded a whole documentary on this. And on that video that was released in 2020, this year, you can find comments of people saying, Basher is innocent. During the time of this story being publicized on Dromler, Basher had a very public girlfriend known as Clara Babylegs. And two weeks ago, Clara Babylegs came out with a statement confirming that when she was 17 years old, she started a sexual relationship with 28-year-old Basherverse. That they traveled across state lines multiple times in 2014 before she was 18 years of age. Basherverse was never innocent. Anybody saying that he's innocent is just wrong. But even though I received so much hate, received death threats, and my show was being attacked constantly for trying to frame Basherverse, that wasn't the worst hate that I received from covering a story about an online entertainer being a predator. In fact, the worst came when I covered a story about an influencer by the name of Kiwis. On March 27th of 2016, I interviewed the mother of an underage girl. I interviewed the girl and I interviewed Kiwis at the time where they all admitted that Kiwis was sending dick pics to a 14 year old girl. Kiwis was 19 years old at the time and this relationship started when he was 17 and the girl was only 12. If you look at that interview, you see 36,000 likes and 10,000 dislikes. And if you read through the comments four years ago, people are on Kiwi's side. It makes absolutely no sense. Kiwi was caught red-handed and admitted to it, but he didn't get canceled. In fact, in many ways, he blamed the victim. He blamed the child for this. Now, four years later in 2020, Kiwi's is a very popular YouTuber now. He grew his channel from 100,000 subs to 3.5 million subscribers, playing a child's game, Fortnite. And recently, Kiwis just got verified on Twitter, and he's also picked up multiple sponsors. A couple days ago, when Kiwi did get verified on Twitter, this sparked some outrage of people that remembered what happened in 2016. And a small campaign started to expose Kiwis for what he did. I have covered many stories on online predators in our space, and every one of them eventually gets canceled. But Kiwis is the one that got away. So to remind everybody exactly what happened four years ago, here is that full interview. Roll it. So basically what happened is that, um, Keemstar uploaded the the intro, like I mentioned earlier, stating about the Bastiverse situation, that he got hate and the worst one was Kiwis. Later on that day, since he uploaded his, like, deleted statement and now uploaded a new one, this is what he has to say. Alright then, now we have his, uh, statement saying, hey guys, so after the recent events and seeing what transpired online, I have this personally decided to separate to no sorry to separate from one percent. I don't want this to happen to take what's happening to take away from what my friends have built. I will also be stepping away and taking a break from the internet for my mental health and for the sake of everyone else's. Thank you for everyone's generic concerns and nice messages I received privately. So basically what happened is that he, because he got exposed for like what happened and then that statement got a lot of backlash. This is, he, has, he issued this one. What the fuck? So basically what happened is that uh, John had um a lot of uh, issues with the with the internet ever since he he got exposed again for um calling for what happened years ago. Of course, days later they forgot about it and um 
he still upload Fortnite, like usual. But the thing is that Mini Lad actually gets too beaten down for for not addressing it and hiding away. Because the thing is that he is. Both of them are like I don't I'm saying that Kiwi is evil, but Mini Lad is actually really evil to do that. But then years have been passed, but that one until we got the amazing <clears throat> Nicholas Diorio documentary. Because yes, Diorio was actually the one one that brought it up again. So this is the amazing documentary that I'm about to show you. Memory Lane and relive one of the most insane episodes of Drama Alert ever released while simultaneously talking about a controversy that I argue hasn't exactly been resolved. My name is Nicholas Diorio and today Keemstar has tasked me with breaking down an infamous story of a previously deleted lost episode of Drama Alert. Wow. What's up buddy, how you doing? When modern YouTubers like Minilad, Lionmaker, or EDP445 enter the news, what is the first type of controversy that comes to mind? Well, fist bump? I don't fist bump people like you, man. Well, if you guess something that will almost certainly get us a yellow dollar sign, then you're probably on the right track. In the last... So, yes. Nick uploaded a... Actually, no, it's Keemstar. Uploaded a amazing documentary about Kiwis that he got away. Yes, it's gonna be the same title in here, but we can all agree that he always gets, gets away with things. That wouldn't be too long that there are, that his fans got a lot of dislikes, what I'm seeing right now, and then and then they, uh, I think Keemstar ended up had to like uh, remove them because of that, saying that and there were like two creators saying that this is the most unexpected video uh, ever and Jaden said I can't believe he got away after all this time so basically it was resolved people were talking about it again <clears throat> but then that happens that Diorio Augie and mostly Tipster got got harassed by Tensor for saying you would have shut your fucking mouth all over blah 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 like bro like you're not gonna do shit and you're gonna get kicked from phase so basically what happened is that this was going on for so long that Tensor kept messaging them Keemstar had to Upload a Twitter telling, telling Tensor to shut the fuck up. Tensor, shut up. Stop talking, all right? Stop lying. You're going to get kicked from fucking FaZe Clan, you idiot. Why are you saying that you never supported Red Kiwis when he got exposed for sexting a 12-year-old, 13-year-old, 14-year-old? I mean, he was doing it for years. Why are you saying I never supported Kiwis? Guess you did. Kiwis even thanked you for supporting him and backing him up and defending him in his response on his own channel. We have the clip, all right? I was there. It happened on my show, Drama. I lived it. I breathed it. And when Nicholas Diorio did a documentary on this whole Red Kiwis thing and how Kiwis was never held accountable for what he did because of the support he had in the community. And you were part of the support tensor, all right? When he did that documentary, you start DMing fucking Augie, Nicholas Diorio, Tipster, all these little news channels saying, hey, why are you guys talking shit? Why are you guys lying? Why are you guys, they're not lying. They're not lying. And you put out this public statement, you're like, I never supported Kiwis. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I was there. It happened on my show. I lived it, all right? Yes, you fucking did. There's so much evidence that you did support Kiwis, all right? You fucked up. You made a mistake. When you fucking write a, a, a public statement and you put it out on Twitter, what you do is you sit down and say, I was wrong and I'm sorry. And I've learned. 
That's what you say. You don't fucking lie, you fucking idiot. And you're in everyone's DMs talking all this shit, threatening them, fucking trying to be all alpha, like, dude, you better shut your fucking mouth, bro. But you ain't gonna do shit other than get yourself kicked from fucking phase. You fucking idiot. Shut up. Stop talking. You're, you're being hauled down to the police station. And instead of getting a fucking lawyer, you're singing. You're just running your fucking mouth, making yourself fucking all these problems. Shut up. Stop talking. Shut up. Idiot. Stop lying. Just don't say anything. Delete your tweets and shut the fuck up. Idiot. You're so f So yes, according to Tipster, there are some evidence that he was actually supporting him. Like there was a tweet saying, imagine being pinned down. Tensor wrote it. Kiwi retweeted it. And of course, Tipster show us there's a uh, screenshot of a comment he said uh, about supporting him, but then was deleted. Like, he just cares. Like, Tensor should not be doing that. Especially if they're, and especially if the other people are on the right side. They should not be doing that. But the thing is, he has not learned. He has not grown. He, he is the same guy that he was five years ago. He basically admitted to Keemstar in an interview. Real reason why he joined that interview is because he was called out and then later on playing as the victim of all the day. We might not he might not earn the title the victimizer, but he earns the title the one who got away. Alright, thank you so much for watching this documentary. I hope that this is very um, educational to you. Um, I know there's a, like a few like boring uh, video clips I um, recorded, and um, I probably might not get the entire timeline, but that's a I that's okay. If you guys think feel if I miss anything, just feel to comment on it. Please don't be mean too. Also of all, um, I would like to uh, say this to to um, you that uh, yes, I'm st I'm sorry I have missed uh, doing like uh, videos and all that because I was working on this. So I'm just going to have to say um, more videos will be coming, not like documentaries about other YouTubers who were exposed, just fun random activities and all that. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my three channels, 99625, Dave of Velociraptor 1, and Velociraptor 1 Gaming. Follow me on social media, and also of all, please support Jerrica. She has her life damaged for this. So, you know what? And I don't care if I if I shouldn't call you John Kiwis. I don't care. You just can't get away with it. Like ever.